thought came to me this morning. Actually, the song I'm not going to sing the song. But I know, raise your hand if you have something that you need the Lord to fix. Oh. Everybody in here has got something that they need the Lord to fix. And the song that came to me is, Oh, Lord, fix me. Oh, Lord, fix me. Fix me, Jesus. Fix me. And whatever it is that you need to be fixed, if it's healing, if it's deliverance, if it's salvation, you come into the house. This is where you can meet the Lord and he can fix whatever the problem is. But the, but the song said, oh, Lord, fix me. I can't look at you. I can't fix you. But God knows what we need. Oh, Lord, fix me. Fix me, Jesus. Fix me. And at this time, we're going to call for the deacons of God, and they are going to lift our offering. Bless the Lord, oh my, more than anything in my life, I've got to make it, I've got to know my name.
landscape is $45, and then a quarter page is $25. Also, the ads must be in certain formats, so it must be in Microsoft Word, or PDF, or JPEG. So if you don't know what those mean, uh, there are people here at the church that are proficient in those formats. So the ads that you would see is just the same recordings for uh, Pastor Julie and Christ. They are the masters with the different formats. Oh, and David McClain, he also knows how to put it in different formats. So with that, uh, that concludes our announcements. Thank the Lord for our new members.
my father in heaven. I want to give honor to Mother Jackson and her absence, to our shoppers, to our MC of today. You may have seen to all the saints that are in the house today. I do praise and I thank the Lord for being here. I praise and I thank the Lord for the Holy Ghost that abides deep down in my soul. If I was singing the song, it would be, I'm, I'm going to do your will. I'm, yes. I'm going to do what you say. I'm going to do it your way. You know, we all got way. We all got thoughts. Every one of us got thoughts. But I'm going to do it your way. I'm going to do what you say. I do praise and I thank the Lord for the Holy Ghost that abides in my soul. Yes, I praise yes, and I thank yes. the Lord that Sister Donna met with me this week and said what she wanted to do. And I praise and I thank the Lord that she got up and did it. <laughs> Happiness is a bomb. 
Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> Joy is an inner feeling. Happiness is an act of outward expression. Mm -hmm. Joy endures hardship and trials and connects with meaning and purpose. A person pursues happiness, but choose joy. Do you choose joy today? I choose joy today. Nehemiah, the book of Nehemiah and Ezra are two parts of the same story. They tell us about the time when the Jews returned from Babylonia to their own country called Judah. Babylonia was about four months walk east from Judah. The Babylonians had defeated the people in Judah. The Babylonians had forced most of the Jews to go to Babylonia and to live there. After many years, the Persians defeated the Babylonians. Mm -hmm. Then Cyrus, the king of Persia, allowed the Jews to return to Judah. Mm -hmm. The book of Ezra is the first part. It tells us about the first two groups of Jews who returned to Judah. The first group returned about 70 years after the Babylonians had taken the Jews into exile. Mm -hmm. The book also explains how the Jews built their temple again. Then many years later, a man called Ezra helped the Jews. He helped them to know God's command and to obey him. <coughs> now, the book of Nehemiah is the second part. It tells the story of a man whose name was Nehemiah. He was a very important official who worked for the king of Persia. God sent Nehemiah to Judah in order to do a special task. Nehemiah would help the Jews to build the walls around Jerusalem again. He arrived in Judah about 13 years after Ezra went there. The king appointed Nehemiah to be the ruler of Judah. Yes. Nehemiah, like Ezra, helped the Jews to obey God's command. Mm -hmm. Nehemiah knew there was more that had to be done. The people had to know who they were where they came from. Right. So Ezra, he read the law. Mm -hmm. They built a platform, so like what we got here. Mm -hmm. So all the people could see him, and they made them to understand the law of Moses. Mm -hmm. Well, they heard the law, and they realized what they had done. All the people were crying when they heard the law. So Nehemiah the ruler and Ezra the priest and teacher and the Levites who were teaching the people spoke and they said to everyone, like I'm saying to you today, today is a special day for the Lord your God. Do not be sad or cry. Then Nehemiah said to the people, go and enjoy special food, sweet drinks, share some of the food and drink with those who don't have any. Today is a special day. For our Lord, do not be sad. Right. Why? Because the joy that you have in the Lord will make you strong. Mm -hmm. The joy that you have in the Lord will make you strong. Yeah. Sometimes we remember the good old days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I believe Brother Green sang the song, Just a, Just Another Day. Yeah. That the Lord has kept me. Your mother used to get up and sing that song. Just another day. That the Lord has kept me. Another one might have picked up the words and say, Look how far He brought me from. He brought me out of darkness into the marvelous life. Look how far the Lord has brought me from. I remember Sister Laverne Strauss would get up and say, I feel the spirit. She said, it's moving. It's moving all over me. It gets in my hands. And it makes me cry. It gets in my feet. And it makes me dance. My voice and it makes me it's moving, y'all. Yeah. The spirit is moving yeah. all over me. When the spirit was high, when the lost came in to be saved, yeah. 
the joy of realizing. If it had not been, sometimes you gotta realize. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, the joy of seeing generations of our children serving the Lord. And not only serving me, but serving with gladness. I know yours may not be here today. Mine may not all be here today. But it's good to know that one day I put it in. One day I drove them to the house of God. I drove them to Sunday school. If you don't bring your kids to Sunday school, you take them, you send them to regular school. Because if you don't, the government's coming after you. I'm coming after you today. Bring your children to Sunday school. Let's fill it up in Sunday school. Because they need to know. They need to know about the Lord. My mother drugged me to church. She definitely sent me to Sunday school, but she didn't come. Well, Bishop Burns used to pick us up and bring us to Sunday school. Now, if you need somebody to pick up your child, I'll come and get them. Okay? I mean that thing. I'll come and get them and bring them to Sunday school. The joy of being able to proclaim every day with Jesus. Can you say it? Yeah. It's sweet. It's your day sweeter. Sweeter than yesterday. Every day with Jesus. It's sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus makes me love him. Love him more and more. There are problems here in this world. But we must remember that Jesus is here to give us joy. Yes. For the joy of the Lord yes. is our strength. It is. That's what helps us get strong. Yes. If you've got joy in Jesus, we get joy in knowing all the days of my appointed time. What did Job say? I'm awake. Even though you say yet, will I trust in you? I don't know why this is. I'm going to love me, Job said. But he said, even though you're even though my body is cracking with that, yeah. even though all my kids are gone, yeah. my cattle, yeah. my sheep, yeah. and now my friends are telling me I must have done something wrong yeah. all the days of my appointed time. Yeah. I'm going to wait. Yeah. I'm going to wait. Yeah. I'm going to wait yeah. until my change comes. Yeah. The joy of knowing yeah. that the Lord is yet with me. Yeah. The joy of knowing that he will be me. Yes. All I got to do is trust him. Yes. Nehemiah and Ezra wanted to let the people know. Yes, yes we messed up. Yeah. Yes, we were not obedient. Mm -hmm. Yes, the reason why they don't think that the Lord just sent them into the Babylonian camp. No. Uh -huh. He did that because they turned their backs on him. They turn their backs on God. But don't you know if you turn your back on God, you can turn back on God. Yeah. Why does your breath in your body? Turn around. Turn around. And tell Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord. Tell Jesus. I, I repent. Tell Jesus I messed up. I want you to forgive me. John, 1 John 2 and 1 says, My little children, uh -huh. these things write I unto you, yes. that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate yes. with the Father, yes. Jesus Christ, uh -huh. the righteous. righteous. We have an advocate. Yes. An advocate means I got a lawyer. Yes. You know it's hard to get a lawyer. Yes. Because money to get a lawyer for Jesus Christ and I'm your advocate. Yeah. I'll stand in the gap. Yeah. I'll stand in the space. Yeah. I know you messed up, yeah. but I'm gonna plead your case. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah! Yeah. I'm gonna plead your case. Yeah. You got an opportunity yeah. to get it right. 
to do it. But you got to do it. Brother Carl said, you got to say, here I am. Ah, here I am, Lord. I want you to bless my soul. Does anybody want to help us bless your soul? Hallelujah. All we have to do is say, Lord, Lord, save me. Save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. And the Lord will save you. All you got to do is cast. Cast all your cares. I love that scripture. Because in my mind, I'm just, whatever it is, hallelujah, I'm just throwing it on me. Because God is able. And he cares. When your mother and your father and your sister and your brother and your husband and your friends are all gone. Hallelujah. We got a friend that'll stay closer. That'll stay closer than any other. We have a friend. So yes, I will join in the God of my salvation. When the enemy tells me to sit down, I'm going to stand up. Huh? And I'm going to lift up my holy hands. Huh? Without wrath and without doubting. Why? Because the joy huh, of the Lord is my strength. You see, the enemy, huh, he wants us to forget what Jesus has done for us. He wants us to forget how he brought us out. He wants us to Realize that we ain't nothing. But guess what? In Christ Jesus. That's a song that Mother Houston said. And it stayed on my mind all week long. It says I'm a royal child. I'm a royal child. Adopted in the royal family. I got royal blood. I got royal blood. Running through my veins. Because Jesus Christ. He is my Savior. He is my joy. He is my hope. With our heart. I don't know about you, but sometimes my heart gets overwhelmed. Gets overwhelmed. And I say, Lead me. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Higher. Because I'm a child. I'm a child of the king. I'm a child of the king. And then sometimes I look and I say, I in my soul, I don't care who y'all want to. I don't care who says I don't know why y'all acting like that. But I will bless the Lord.
my strength. Mm -hmm. And then somebody picked up and said, Oh, magnify the Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, magnify. Mm -hmm. Oh, magnify.
That's why the joy is the Lord. When I praise Him, I get joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Does anybody need strength today? Does anybody need strength? I dare you to praise Him. I dare you to praise Him. I dare you to praise Him.